Last week, we looked at the set of relationships that are the relationships that are closest to us, the relationships that we call kin. Not just family relationships, not just those people who are related to us, but the people that we are closest to. When the Bible talks about a family or a household, which was really the building block of their culture and their society, it didn't just talk about the parents and the kids. It talked about an extended family that included grandparents or other extended relatives, as well as anybody else who lived in the household that included slaves or people that they adopted into their house or people they were caring for. And the Bible talks about how important it is to recognize these relationships and actually to shift in terms of these relationships. So we looked at two shifts. One was the shift of diminishing dominance, where it's important not to dominate relationships regardless of what role we have in those relationships. We need to be careful, just as Christ did not dominate us in our relationship with Him, despite His authority in our lives, He did not do that. But we also looked at the shift of increasing reverence, that what would it look like if in the relationships, the closest relationships that we have, if we increase our reverence, our recognition of Christ in the midst of those relationships, and how would that shape those relationships? This coming week, we begin a new series. It's a series that has to do with the parables, and it's a series that brings us each week to ask the question, what if? I hope you come and are part of asking and wondering and imagining about some bigger things that Jesus challenges us to imagine. I look forward to seeing you.